At Easter, people eat a lot of chocolate, mainly in ovoid kind of egg shapes. Now, when you are eating an Easter egg, it's important to stop every so often and just, you know, don't get too excited about the chocolate and just reflect on why you're eating a chocolate Easter egg in the first place. It's because your body demands fuel, which you can burn as energy. And chocolate is a pretty good fuel. Every 100 grams of chocolate will provide 524 calories of energy. That means that a medium Easter egg at about 130 grams will give your body 681 calories of energy to burn. That's pretty good. The average adult male only requires 2,500 calories for an entire day of work. This means that if you are an average adult male, you can wake up on Easter morning, eat 3.76 Easter eggs, and then just go back to bed. You're done. That's all your energy you need for the entire day. The average adult male may not do that. Uh, ladies, if you wish to give it a go, you require 2,000 calories, so you get 80% of 3.76 Easter eggs. Now, Easter eggs aren't the only way to get your energy on Easter. There are other ways to go about it. If you go for more of an Easter bunny kind of theme. You could wake up in the morning, eat 192 carrots, and that's you done for the day. Or you could eat 0.715 rabbits. Yeah, about three quarters of a cooked, fully grown adult rabbit will give you all the energy you need for an entire day of Easter egg. Now, let's not forget that energy, well, energy is for life, not just for Easter. And the rest of the year you still need fuel. So on a different day you might wake up and have 9.3 hot dogs. That'll do. You could have 36.3 rashes of bacon. You could have 390 sticks of celery. You will spend most of the energy you get from 390 sticks of celery digesting 390 sticks of celery. Uh, other options include 30 pancakes. That's a bit more exciting. 27.4 apples. That's a bit healthier. If you don't want to go so healthy, you can just have 6.35 liters of Coke. Now, there are other ways to get energy. It's not just food. Any kind of fuel will give you some kind of energy. So, for example, petrol. Gasoline has a lot of calories. It's got around about 32 megajoules for every litre. So what this means is if you do all the conversions and you're an average adult male and you want to get all your energy for the day at once, you wake up in the morning, you have 327 millilitres of petrol and you're done. That's about a third of a litre. You can, that's like a mug's worth of fuel. You can wake up in the morning, have your morning mug of petrol, and you're done. Unfortunately, you, you would die. But in theory, the energy is there. In theory, you could run a car on Easter eggs. So if you have a 35 miles per gallon car, it needs approximately 993 calories for every mile it travels. What this means is if you do the conversions, your 35 miles per gallon car is actually a 0.686 miles per Easter egg car. If you want to drive 100 miles in this car, you need 146 Easter eggs. Now, while technically all this works in terms of pure energy, practically it doesn't. If you drink petrol, you will die. If you put Easter eggs into someone's car, they will kill you and you'll die. But the energy, it all balances out. It's all the same thing. You're just burning fuel. We, like cars, burn fuel, get energy, or at least carbon dioxide. Yes, eating is bad for the environment because your body is burning that fuel and releasing the carbon. Now, this is actually not as bad for a human as a car, because a car, you fill it with petrol, you drive it, you burn all of the petrol. A human, you eat some fuel you don't necessarily burn all of that fuel. In fact, if you eat something, but then don't exercise and don't use that energy, you're not gonna release the carbon. So over Easter, if you do eat a lot of chocolate Easter eggs and you think you're putting on a few pounds, don't stress. You're not gaining weight, you're just sequestering carbon. And that is very good for the environment. Don't follow anybody on Twitter. Just follow us, we've got all the good bits.